How long were you locked up for? Uh, three months. Three months? Yeah. Okay, and so were you completely clean those whole three months? Uh, yeah. Because you don't seem like 100% sober right now. Um, <laughs> the exercise. <laughs> no, no, no. Talk to me. I mean, so how long um, have you been out? Uh, for about like three days. Three days? Yeah. Did you immediately get right back to it as soon as you got out? Okay, did anything crazy happen while you was in jail? Uh, Who did yourself. you call when you went to jail? My mom. Oh, my mom. What does she think about all this? She's still shocked. She don't know what I'm doing, but... I'm as far just, as the drugs and stuff? Yeah. If, Let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. When you was when you was locked up for those three months, did you have any thoughts about your daughter? What's up, YouTube? Man, shout out to everybody that shows love out here. I appreciate y'all. That keeps me charged up. Now back to the content. <laughs> What's up, YouTube? Atlanta Street Interviews out here with the update. So we got our girl out here, y'all. We got Fab out here. I have not seen her in months. In months. And I've been worried about you. Where you been? Incarcerated. What? Yeah. You know what? I can tell. Look at this. Look at this. Girl, you don't put some weight on. I know. <laughs> you don't put some of that good jail weight on. Yeah. Look at that. Okay, so what did you get locked up for, Fab? Um, soliciting. Soliciting? Yeah, illiterate. What were you soliciting? Um, uh, sitting in the area. I shouldn't have been sitting in. And so how long were you locked up for? Uh, three months. Three months? Yeah. Okay, and so were you completely clean those whole three months? Uh, yeah. Or did you get something while you was in the jail? Well, they don't give you cigarettes and stuff, so. I know, but they got other stuff, too. Oh, well, too hot. Huh? They call it too hot, right? Like, they, they just gave us a trays. Because you don't seem like... A hundred percent sober right now. Um, <laughs> <the exercise. laughs> no, no, no. Talk to me. I mean, so how long um, have you been out? Uh, for about like three days. Three days. Yeah. Did you immediately get right back to it as soon as you got out? Immediately was stressed. <laughs> okay. So you immediately had to like go see your. And people. I don't claim stress. It's just I don't like certain things that I'm dealing with now. I get it, but I would have loved to see you when you were sober when you first got out. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I would have loved to see that because I would have loved to get where your thoughts was and, you know, what you have going on. Mm -hmm. Like, come Can you on. give me a brown bag after? A brown bag? Please, me and my buddy. I, where do I get a brown bag from? What do you... It's a, a food bag. A food bag? Yes, yeah, so I can go. If they have one in here, get one. I want you to cut the line. <laughs> I don't have that type of pull, okay? <laughs> I don't I mean, have that wait. type of pull, but the line's getting short. Don't worry about that, okay? okay? All right, let's talk, though. Let's talk. Okay. Was there any thoughts while you was locked up to say, you know what? I just need to be sober. Um, When you think you're getting out early and you don't, I just, I don't know. I thought, my thoughts would be no thought, but it's a lot of stuff going on now. What's going on now? Me trying to deal with um, a different program and... I gotta have like trans, well, different programs to accept me in. Because I mean, since you got out, you you've been pretty much <laughs> sleeping out on the street. Ooh, I'd rather sleep out on the street than in the tent or forty-five minutes away where they all stuff running stuff up. Oh, is that right? Yeah, my sister, so, she's 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 the uh, she goes to church a lot, so I just I just knew I couldn't go there. So why 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 would you rather sleep on the street than in the tent though? The street, you, nobody can tell you to stop walking when you got to walk. So it's like when you around certain areas and you've been in one town for uh, 25 years and you learn certain stuff. I just did, tried to change. Well, I'm still trying. It's, it's not easy. It's hard. Because I don't really think about myself. Let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. When you was, when you was locked up for those three months, did you have any thoughts about your daughter? As far as her going through nothing, uh, she's a big kid at heart, and that's all. Three years, so we'll be four this year. That was what you thought about when you thought about yep, it? Yep, with God, Mommy, because she holding it down, and, well, hopefully she stays up, but. Well, I was just, I guess, you know, I was, I would, <laughs> I would think that maybe in your sobriety, right, in your mm -hmm. sober thoughts, that you would think about her and you would maybe feel like a little bit she's not thinking about me at all she she knows what's going on 
I don't know if she really know. She's a but, child, so it's not on her to think about you, but, but there was health you don't ever you don't ever think about her? Yeah, of course. Like I think about A to B, but when it's time to focus on myself and she's being take, taken care of in, in a different state, I gotta focus on me. I can't stress well, myself. Well, I get out. that, but that's what I was saying. I was asking as far as when you was locked yeah, down. Yeah, she's but. a big, uh, big chunky little girl that <laughs> likes to play and likes to do whatever she want to do. And then when you chastise her, pop her little leg. That's the most I have ever done. But probably, you know, it's whatever. But other than that, I don't overdo. I, I, I don't. I don't overdo it with uh, little Scott. Okay. Okay. Right. So, okay. Did anything crazy happen while you was in jail? Um, uh, pe uh, when people just get irritated with TVs and stuff that was on. And Did you get any fights or anything? I had no fights, but I just was uncomfortable, so I I spoke out. I spoke aloud. <laughs> you used to be you used to be in there going off and speaking out and. No, cause I, that's when your grandma gets you. So it's just I just try to. Just change the then the best of my ability because it don't that don't happen overnight because I don't want nobody ignorant around me. As far as what my family they working doing what they can do because when you need help but you gotta find help. By Who yourself. did you call when you went to jail? My mom. Oh my mom. What does she think about all this? She's still shocked. She don't know what I'm doing. But as I'm far just, as the drugs and stuff. Yeah, as far as me just trying to change. As far as being out here homeless, she doesn't know. Right. No, she knows I'm out here, but she she came to pick me up, and I went 45 minutes away. And it just so happened that everything happened not for a reason. So when you're honest, wait. So your mom came and picked you up from jail? Uh, no, she couldn't. I had to. Um, I just found my own way from um jail. Okay, you say 45 minutes away? Yeah. Where? Um, no, that's that's their new apartment. That's where your mom lives? Yeah, my mom and my sister. And that's in the metro Atlanta area? I don't know. You say that, it was, it was well, on the highway. You know what I'm saying though? You're saying it's 45 minutes away from here? Probably 30 to 45, 15. So know. so your your people live here? It's a lot of family that do, but I don't I don't want to be around them. I don't want to irritate my mom. I don't want to irritate my sister. I don't want to irritate my niece. I don't want to irritate my nephew. So being out and finding like good programs, because I never seen anything like this. So basically you want to stay away from your family because you're because I'm not I'm not I'm not where I want to be. <laughs> okay, so it's the drugs basically. Anyway. Right. <sighs> okay. What is it gonna to take to get you off these drugs? Um, it's gonna take a because I, I always went against the drug program because I was like, hold up, but it's not about me anymore. It's about a lot of things that's going on now. So you are ready to do the drug programs now? Yeah, it, it, they said, well, they just discharged me from um, jail uh, like three days ago, I think. A few days ago, put it like that. And um, my mom, when she came and got me, cause she know my situation. And I got irritated immediately. Cause it's like, I don't like too much attention. You got but, irritated with your mom? No, just with the vehicle. And that's when kids get it messed up because we don't, we don't. You we got don't irritated know. with the vehicle? Because of a cigarette. <laughs> what? Yeah. So you was trying to smoke inside the car? The cigarette was valid and then it was gone. Like it was just like, I don't, I, I don't need to be irritated. <laughs> what? That, that doesn't sound like no big deal now. Ah. What are you doing? <laughs> that doesn't sound like no big deal for you to Ugh. get irritated and leave about. It's just when you know you messed up. And I was happy, but I was wrong. And then you deal with the situation, and deal with it. And, and that's it's it's the situation that you just gotta handle on your own. You can't bring other people in it. But then other people are involved. As far as being honest with, with family and and stuff. As far as her being where she is and still in New York. Still in New York. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Because I couldn't bring her with me. Unstable. Well, financially unstable. Well, and mentally unstable. Mentally And still yeah. on the drugs. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, okay. All right, fam. Well, listen, I, I'm always <laughs> happy to catch up with you. I'm so glad that you called me over. <laughs> Man, I didn't know who that was at first. Yeah. Um, your face done got a little thicker and everything. But, yeah. um, I, you know, like I say, I would have loved to see you fresh out, still sober. I'm, I want to see you sober one time. It's the walk that it changes, and when it's hot, I don't need nothing like that around. It just be like how people think they're cocky, but I'm not. I'm not cocky. I, you know, if you know how to fight, you know how to fight. If you don't, you don't. 
I try and avoid Do you know situations. how to fight? No. I try and avoid situations <laughs> like that. It's just when a family ignorant, they, they don't want to come together. You let that happen upon the church or something, but you don't bring that to the church. Everybody, uh, All right. it's crazy. <laughs> but I respect God, but uh, it's a lot going on with God. It's a lot going on with whoever and whoever. But it's about me having time to myself, too. I never had this much time to myself. Two years, I never. Mm. Right. This is like your self-exploration period. It's going down. Yep. And it went, went Do you know me. that one interview, I interviewed you and all you had on was a shirt and no no, like no drawers, <laughs> no nothing? I like to be Like you had on the shirt and sneakers, that's it? I learned to not wear drawers. I don't know. My grandma told me. It's all right sometimes. Okay. Well, hey, listen, um, in the words of uh, Sexy Reg, say, uh, bend over, let that coochie breathe. Ooh. <laughs> All right, well, listen, like I say, we really appreciate you. Yeah. And definitely wish nothing but the best out here, okay? Okay. Make sure you have a good one, Fab. Yes. All right. <laughs>